beautiful people. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel, In the Notero. All right, so we're just going to check out and see who's coming towards Scorpio in August, okay? And why? What they want? What you want, man? Who's coming towards Scorpio in August? All right. We got the lovers going on. All right, so it might have a Gemini coming towards you. This is somebody that's very affectionate. Oh my. Okay. Possibly somebody stable. It could be a Gemini, Libra. Why well, I say Libra? Oh my God. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Yeah, somebody stable. Hmm. This may be somebody that might have, you know, they might be a little wounded from the past. However, I think this person actually sees you. They find you kind of sexy. Yeah. All right. This may be somebody that you work with. Okay. I just saw the Eight of Pentacles before I put this up. Yeah, this is somebody that's very stable, nurturing. Hmm. You also have Leo here, the sun. This person really likes you, too. They find you very attractive. They like your your um, your personality. Your um, You have a glow about yourself, you know? Yeah, I'm starting to think this is somebody that you work with. Huh. You also had a death card here. I don't think this is somebody that you ended it with. I think this is somebody who is not showing who um who they really are or maybe since this is somebody at your job or something like that maybe this person can't really show how they feel about you or you guys can't date or whatever because of fraternization laws or whatever you know rules or whatever at work and uh this person wants to put an end to this situation this facade I got <laughs> and this person wants to transform this situation with you yeah let me see what else? yeah somebody wants to press to start with you something stable uh, reliable what did I tell you you got somebody at work that's watching you. And I'm honestly believing that it's possibly a Taurus Virgo. Capricorn. Could be Gemini, Libra. I mean, Libra, why I keep saying Libra? Leo. Pisces. Yeah, somebody's got feelings for you. They got feelings for you. Somebody at your job has feelings for you. Let's see. They're not showing you, though. They're wearing a mask. This person may be getting information about you from other people at work. Little jewels, little trinkets, and stuff like that. They might have heard good news about you and, you know, really good things about you. And this person is keeping it secret. Damn. <laughs> What falls out the Empress, yes. This person sees you as the Empress. You're very beautiful to this person, or very handsome to this person. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, for some of you, <laughs> this may actually be a boss. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow, maybe this is why this person isn't saying anything because there's a thin line. This person has a thin line 
that they have to walk. Oh, shit. You know what? Look. This might be a boss. Somebody's boss is interested in them. Okay, we have the emperor here. All right. Two of Pentacles. A five of Pentacles. Okay, so look. You may have somebody that is interested in, um, interested in you at work that is a boss. Okay, or you may be a boss that's interested in somebody at work very sexually attracted to this person or whatever. However, there's a very thin line that you have to walk, you know, because of fraternization and sexual harassment, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Um, those rules at work, however, I'm not getting that as something that will get you in trouble. However, someone is afraid they might lose their job here. Okay, and end up out in the cold. This is why I kept seeing this okay well somebody does want to come in and offer somebody might be waiting there might also might be other people in the office too that is interested in this person so there might be a lot of conflict a lot of jealousy a lot of you know drama and stuff like that going on in the office or wherever you work so maybe this is another reason why this person is keeping this under wraps keeping this secret you know what i mean because if other people found out, it would be a bunch of drama. Huh. So, I'm wondering if this person here is literally trying to wait for the right opportunity. Maybe to, you know, kind of get you to the side on the sly or whatever. I know this is a weird ass storyline, but this is what the fuck I'm seeing. Trying to bring it together to where... This person can say something to you. Oh my, look. <laughs> yeah, this person is very, this person is sexually attracted to you. Yes. Keeping it under wraps right now. Waiting for the right opportunity to say something. Yeah, they want to say something. They want to move forward. Yep. Uh, okay. Okay. I guess. All right, so what do we do with this? I don't know what, what to do with this. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this person is going to be moving forward towards you. They might be a little shy, you know, um, not just being real blatant with it or whatever, like I said. Um, this person is basically the 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 route that they have to take to get to you to even bring this together is very, very dangerous for them. They have a lot to lose. So this person has been thinking about this for a minute, watching you on the low. Wow. Trying to figure out how to bring you this Ace of Pentacles. This is a trip. Look. There it is. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants new love. But stuck. Can't move because of the situation. Okay. Okay. But they're going to work it out. They're going to figure it out. Somebody is figuring out how to try to come towards you. Look at this. They're, they're, this person is like on the low, like literally. Figuring out, balancing this situation out. Working on a plan to come towards you. Look. Mm. Wow. Okay, I see you. Interesting. Interesting. You know what? Let's see. Why is the lovers here? Huh. My cards are upside down. Okay. So, therefore, I'm not going to take that. I will reshuffle. Alright, why is the lovers here? Matter of fact, the lovers are right here. 
And what was going to come out was a Ten of Cups. But okay. I'll restart it because I like to start with my deck upright. If they pop out upside down, it's meant to be like this. Okay, so we had a star in reverse. Somebody's really unsure about this situation. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, we got the Two of Pentacles clarifying the sun. All right, so somebody's not sure. They're not sure. Let's see. If they're making the right move. Yeah, they're not sure if they're making the right move. They're keeping it to themselves. Somebody is actually trying to figure out how, like I said, how to bring this together. And I honestly, like I said, I honestly believe that this is a boss yeah, this is a supervisor or somebody in a high-ranking position. Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Cups. Look at that. Yes. This person has some deep feelings for you. They want new love. Something stable. Wow, what did I say? Empress, clarified by Four of Wands. <clears throat> With the High Priestess, keeping it to themselves, keeping it secret. Having it, keeping it on the law. Because of the situation. Not sure how to balance this out. This person is not happy because of the situation. <laughs> Somebody is not happy. Yeah, look. Six of Swords clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. This person is trying to figure out how to manifest this situation together. They want to they want to build to this, you know, they want to bring this together. They want to start, you know, start slow. This person is moving slow, slowly towards this planning, being very careful. Hmm. Treating this situation as if it is. Wow. Wow. Somebody really wants something, uh, a stable foundation with you, actually. And they really want to build something, you know, in all fun and games. Yeah, this person is very sexually attracted to you. Um, however, they see something other than that. You know, um, yeah, this person actually sees that there's a spiritual connection there. I don't know if you talk to this person often or if you work with this person very closely but yeah this person wants for a movement with you they're going to communicate this to you eventually like i said they're just waiting for the right time to move forward and in the meantime wow this is really on this person's mind too this person really cares about you a lot a whole lot. There's going to be four movement here, like I said, though. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. Wow. Okay. Why is the four swords here? <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this person has been thinking about the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. How to bring this together. That's the crazy part. This is crazy readings, ma'am, sir. Okay. So what y'all going to do? You going to be looking at your boss kind of funny Monday morning. Or tomorrow morning when you go in, look at them all. Cute. Somebody going to work looking extra cute tomorrow. I know that. Let's see. What is this person going to say? Oh, I forgot to tell you there's two of cups on the bottom of the step. Sorry. All right. So somebody wants forward movement here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Friendship. All right. There is competition in the office. Okay. So there's other people that might be interested in this person as well. 
or interested in you. All right. I don't know. It says partner, karmic partnership, mirroring, and waiting. So I don't know. Um, hmm. Could this be a karmic? Anything, anybody could be a karmic. I mean, literally. You learn lessons from everybody, or at least you should. You know, however, this person wants to start off as friends. Or maybe you are friends with this person. And maybe you have mutual friends with this person. But this person is waiting on an opportunity to have a start with you. A brand new beginning in love. Okay? You guys, this person also might feel that you guys have a spiritual connection together. Like you're marrying each other. However, I'm getting this more of a soul connection. You guys vibe on the same level or whatever. And that's one of the things that piques this person's interest. Okay? Let's see. Hell, who knows? Maybe you guys are learning and growing from each other. You know? All right, celebration. Maybe you've um, met this person at a party. Or maybe this person, there's a party coming up. Or something like that. Maybe that's when this person is going to reach out and say something to you. Let you know that they are interested. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe this person's birthday is coming up or something. Hmm. I think this person feels that you're very loyal, dedicated. Yeah, this person trusts you. There's somebody here may have dealt with a lot of people that, you know, they feel were deceptive, you know, um, and this person feels like, you know, they could trust you not only with the things that you do at work or whatever it is. This person feels like you're a very, um, like I said, this person likes your, your spirit, your vibe. You're a genuine, authentic person and this person sees how you are. This person feels that they can open up and trust you if they decided to, you know, open up their heart to you. This is somebody that they could actually see you with or they could see themselves with you. OK, or if this is, you know, you towards someone else. Yeah, like I said, this person trusts you and they have a lot of passion for you. Love, fire, heart. This person thinks you're sexy. And contemplation, they're wondering if it's okay for them to speak up. And they think about they think about sex with you all the time. I don't know if this is somebody at work that you've already, you know, kind of went there with. If you did, this person is regretting not telling you that they wanted something more. And if not, if this is somebody that you have not... This person is regretting not saying something to you or speaking out, you know, or maybe they're going to try to hurry up and do so so they don't regret it. OK, maybe they had the opportunity to do it and yeah, they let it bypass them. Um, for some reason, I just thought of the four of cups. Okay, so somebody's trying not to let this be a missed opportunity. Good grief. All right. So, all right. So they're letting go of what's holding them back. This could be um, other relationships, friendships, or whatever, you know. Um, judgments from other people, you know. Like I said, somebody may be worried about colleagues or whatever because they're, they make shit. This might be a CEO and. They want to date their secretary or something. I don't know what this is, but yeah, somebody's leaving other opinions behind and they're trying to go for this new beginning here with you, okay? This person might actually invite you out to dinner. And also, yeah, like I said, this person, somebody is very sexually attracted to you. Somebody wants to get you in the bed. Yes. Desiring intimacy, sexual thoughts, sexual dreams, and arousal. Somebody finds you very sexy. This person is lurking on your social media. And if you have been with this person before, like I said, this person is thinking about those times. Okay? And they're kind of pissed off at themselves that they did not speak up. 
and had the courage to tell you what they really, really wanted with you, okay? There is a possibility later on down the line, if you guys, guys actually work this out, this person actually might end up proposing to you, okay? And maybe this is what, you know, they're thinking about now. Hell, this could be somebody that you actually, um, you know, dated off and on, on the job or whatever, and you know, somebody sees you in a different light now, and they want to step it up to another level. I don't know. Let's see. You got main female. Yep. Look. Courthouse. Family room. This is someone that actually, uh, like I said, is ready to kick everybody else to the curb. Friends, family, whoever doesn't like it, they don't really care. They're ready to come with you, according to the other card. Um, yeah, you are the main female. You have message here or main male, whatever. Take it all resonates. Uh, you have message here. This person is ready to come and talk to you. You got journey. They're ready to tell you exactly what's on their heart. You got courthouse here. There is a possible marriage proposal or something like that down the line here. And uh, yeah, family room. This person may end up telling you that this is what they want to build with you, okay? So, um, yeah. That's what's coming towards you in August. And anything else? Let's see. Prosperity begins. That is beautiful. Victory and success and trapped in fear. When this person comes towards you, your boots may start knocking. Or vice versa, you know. However, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful thing coming for you, you know. Uh, you never know unless you step out on faith and see what happens, you know. I don't know. Just be careful, be mindful, keep your business to yourself, keep everybody else out your business because there's some messy ones that are here with those five of uh, wands that was here. So, um, yeah, I also think that this person is a bit hesitant too, but I think overall this is going to, you know, somebody's going to get over it. They're going to move forward and this is going to be a beautiful outcome. You have the Ten of Pentacles and Sweetheart, you have Triumph. Okay, prosperity begins and then sacrifice. So, yeah, somebody may make a sacrifice here. You know, this person has been thinking about it. You know, they're willing to put everything on the line. That's what it is, job, everything, you know, because, uh, yeah, they see you in their future and they want to grow with this. Okay, and they have a lot to give, a lot of love to give, stability, nurturing, okay, caring, loyalty. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. All right. Bye.